Our top story of the morning, and it's a good one. And I want to uh, humor producer Jess here, who wrote this. Mm -hmm. About a dozen cows have moved <laughs> off the side of a freeway after an accident early this morning. Yeah, it's on the 101 near Maryland, and Danielle Miller is live on the scene for us. So, Danielle, you're telling us all the cows are safe? Yes, it appears that way this morning. So all of this happened right around 4 o'clock this morning. You can see here, this is a live look at those cows here. So about uh, 15 or so cows got loose over here. So where we are, we're in the embankment area. This is off to the right-hand side of the 101, the southbound lanes over here. It's right near Cardinal's Way. This is where all of this happened early this morning. So uh, what we're being told is a tractor trailer carrying about 109 cows hit the median uh, for some reason. That's when all of these cows broke loose. They got onto the freeway, uh, somehow managed to make it down here to this embankment. Luckily, nobody was hurt. Uh, as you can imagine, a very dangerous situation with uh, this livestock here on the freeway. So right now, what you're looking at, these are corral crews out here. Uh, they kind of put them in this area right here. We just had this team show up, so they're going to try to move these cows now, put them back on a track trailer. But uh, before all of these guys got here, we had one guy here from ADOT. He uh, typically responds to, you know, mattresses in the road, things like that, trying to get things cleared and out of the way. But today when he got that call around four o'clock this morning, hey, you got to head to the 101. There are cows on the freeway. Uh, pretty shocking for this guy. When I arrived, DPS had contained about 15 calves out here. Um, luckily, in this area, we've got um, locked fence on the other end. So we set up a containment area here so that they uh, couldn't get past us. They do try to wander this way every once in a while. And just from a little knowledge, you make a little bit of noise and yelling and wave your arms a little bit. They'll go back the other way. And Rich, we have to say, he was out here all morning long doing a fantastic job at keeping these cows off the roadway and kind of uh, making their way back to the roadway. So keeping everyone safe out here this morning. Good job, Rich. So uh, in terms of these cows, you can see they're kind of just corralled in one particular area. There's about uh, 10 guys out here that are going to try to then move them. I think they're going to be cutting a part of this fence and bringing the tractor trailer in here to this area to load them back up. We were told that these cows were heading to Nogales, uh, so I think uh, their owners are going to come from there to pick them up and take them uh, back on their journey. As far as traffic, there is still that tractor trailer unseen, as well as several DPS troopers as well. So definitely pay attention. Uh, I think all the cows are corralled at this time, but they did say there are a few kind of wandering around not accounted for. So definitely pay very close attention when you are uh, driving here in this area along the 101. Guys, we'll send it back to you. And Danielle, in your live shot there, one of those little babes were was limping a little bit. Are the cows um, safe? Do we know any of them severely hurt or? I mean, we saw it limping so a little bit. So the rest of them, the rest of them look okay. We do see just that one that has been limping. But if you can imagine, uh, you know, they got in that accident, so something could have happened then. And then once they got out on the freeway, uh, you can see this gate here. So they're uh, along the freeway. There's a gate, so they had to kind of make their way through that. So uh, they're scared, I'm sure, yeah. running across the freeway. So I think uh, that one got a little hurt, unfortunately. But they mm. came down the embankment, so. Not a good situation. Yeah, well, good thing no person was hurt. I don't see any us. cowboys, Danielle. I feel <laughs> like I need to see a cowboy hat. I need some ropes <laughs> I, out there. And I bet by before the morning's over, we do. <laughs> No, these are some of the, the new school cowboys. They have their work boots on. Oh, they do? Yeah, they're, right. they're cowboys. They just. Well, that guy's got yeah, they have their big little. Boots on there. Yeah, they have their work and their goulashes. You know, you got to wear those when you're out on the farm. <laughs> it's baseball get, caps uh, now, too, goulashes. you know. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> these are new school cowboys. <laughs> All right. I still want to see some hats and, and some ropes out there. We'll see what happens right. later today. All right, let's get to okay. Troy Baird, okay. who's over the air in Sky Fox. Thanks, Daniel. And, Troy, we talk all the time about different causes of traffic jams, and this one's pretty novel. Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, you guys have that really interesting video of the cows actually on the 101. That's uh, that's pretty interesting for sure and novel. Uh, we are watching uh, the traffic around this crash, though. So 
uh, DPS is here, and we do have a, a tow truck on scene, but they are working to uh, get part of this truck, uh, kind of uh, trying to figure out how they can get it away from that concrete embankment. It hit it really hard. It looks like it actually hit uh, the guardrail uh, point down here and maybe rode the concrete for a little while before popping off of it. There was a lot of damage to the front end of that truck, and the rear axles on the tractor itself are kind of twisted. Uh, we're starting to see at least a little bit of backup earlier wasn't too bad. Now people are starting to do a little bit of curiosity slowing uh, here on the, this is the southbound 101. We'll take you back here and starting to see that it is beginning to back up just a little bit, uh, but the traffic volume isn't too bad coming in this direction, probably a little bit better than it normally would be uh, since it is a Friday. Uh, but uh, again, we are starting to see people slow down right around Glendale now and uh, try to take a look at exactly what's happening here before they uh, get on their way around this truck. So did it rip open the side of the truck, Troy? Is that how these calves got out, or did it pop open the, the rear uh, doors on the, on the semi? Yeah, it looks like the, the whole bottom, uh, sort of maybe three quarters of the passenger side of the trailer itself huh. is ripped open at the bottom. So it oh. appears that the uh, tractor hit the end of the concrete there where the guardrail is, tries to, uh, uh, tries to protect it, and it may have uh, popped up on top of that and then uh, rode that uh, concrete a little bit. We can get you in here a little bit and show you the front end of this tractor, how damaged it is oh, yeah. uh, at this time. But uh, they're doing some work on the uh, on the trailer itself uh, to try to see how they can get that all taken care of and, and get it away from uh, the concrete and, and get that tow truck in here. Interesting. Can we say this is a first for us? Cows on the freeway? I cows on the this freeway. This has ever happened. <laughs> It definitely is a first uh, yeah. for me, that's yeah. for sure. There is one I'd cow over so here too. who figured out how to get on the other side of the fence. What? So, oh. He now, says, see, there's always one troublemaker. Well, hey, he says yeah. he's got an opportunity. He's going to take it. <laughs> Go for it. Run, buddy. Run. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a full escape opportunity here, bro. Oh, now, <laughs> see, you got that wow, whole field he's right got there. Open field, yeah. I bet they open that up. They, they bring in the cowboys. <laughs> I'm the, I want to see a cowboy hat, and I want to see a rope, Troy. I think we're going to at some point, hopefully. Uh, I hope so. All right, we'll stay on top we'll of it this Thanks, morning. Thanks, Troy. Thanks so much. Okay.